Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about orchids. So we haven't done much about orchids on our channel and we just finished filming a really short orchid video for a Spoma's website, so I figured we'd film one for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is talk about some beginner's tips for Phalaenopsis orchids uh, or moth orchids. I really like this variety because they are really easy to find. You can even find them in grocery stores. They've got huge blooms. They bloom really consistently for me and they bloom for a super long period of time, up to about six months. This one right here bloomed for me from April through December last year, so that was like eight months. So they're really, really easy orchids to take, to take care of. The first thing is repotting. So they typically like to be repotted every one to two years and it will depend on how big your plant is, how big your pot is, and how well it's grown for you that year. You might be able to go every other year or once a year. I really like to look at my plants really, really closely once a year, even like so far as popping them out of the pot to take a look at the root system, especially if you've got them in closed pots. You know, orchids, a lot of times they come in these clear pots and if you can find these and um, you can find them big enough so that you can keep repotting your orchids into this, these are so nice because you can see what the roots are doing right through the sides of the pot. Uh, when you are ready to repot, you wanna use a specific orchid soil or orchid mix. It's not really a soil, it's like a bark-like texture. So you look for an orchid mix soil. They are epiphytes, so it means that they don't grow in soil. In nature, you find them clinging to trunks of trees. So they like a lot of ventilation around their root system. So this type of mix is really, really good for them. You don't wanna use something with a lot of peat or anything that holds a lot of moisture. There are also specific orchid pots like this one right here. You can see the extra holes. They go all the way around the bottom of this pot and that provides a little extra ventilation. It's not 100% necessary, but they do really well. And that's another reason why I like these. These have a ton of holes at the bottom and then you can poke extra holes in the side. Um, you can like heat up a nail or something like that and poke them through the side and create extra ventilation and your orchids are super um, thankful for that. The next thing is watering. So usually I water my orchids about once a week and that's kind of a general rule for, for this type of orchid. It really does depend on where they're at, like the environment they're in. If it's a humid environment or if it's really dry, if it's hot, um, if it's in more light, those are all factors. So typically once a week or when the bark mix is dried out, you can stick your finger way down in the pot and you can feel that moisture level. And that's another, another time when the clear pots are super handy because the roots are really telling. If they are bright green and they look just really vibrant, that means that the plant is hydrated. But if they've turned kind of a silvery gray, that means that they need a drink. So it's really nice to be able to see that right through the pot. And if you use these, you can just slide them down into a decorative container. So I am looking, I'm looking for somewhere where I can stock up on multiple different sizes of these because I would love to be able to use them. You can really detect problems early too when you've got a clear pot. A couple other things about watering, you wanna use lukewarm water. These are tropical plants and they do not want to, to be shocked with ice cubes. Um, I used to water with ice cubes, I used to do that. Uh, and my orchids never really did that well. And it kinda like no wonder. So I've learned a lot through the years taking care of them. So use lukewarm water. You can set them in a pan full of water and let the media kind of suck it up in, you know, around the root system. Or you can water over the top. You just wanna make sure that if any water gets into the crown of the plant, that you use a napkin or a towel or a paper towel and blot that water out because you don't wanna uh, create or cause crown rot. And that's what will happen if water just sits in the crown. The next things I wanna talk about are light, air, and humidity. So they like a bright indirect light, so kind of bright shade. Phalaenopsis orchids are a, more of a low light lover. They can take more low light than some other varieties, but I've got them in a spot that's just, it's on a, in a south facing window, but it's protected by kind of a bookcase. It kind of gets shaded a little bit, but it's still super bright and they are really, really happy. Uh, they also like higher humidity than a lot of other plants. And if you live in a really dry climate like I do, or if you heat your house with wood like I do, so it's kind of like a double whammy here in Eastern Oregon, uh, you have to provide supplemental humidity. And you can do that by using a spray bottle and misting them a few times a week. In the summertime, you might have to do that a little more often. Or you can set them in a tray full of pebbles that has water in it. You just wanna make sure that your pot is not sitting in water, that it's just resting on top of the rocks. Um, so that your bark mix doesn't suck up any extra moisture and possibly rot the root system. So what will happen is the water that's underneath those pebbles, as it evaporates, it'll create a more humid environment around your plant. It's a super handy, kind of hands-off way to create humidity. And the last thing is fertilizing. So you wanna make sure, just like with cactus and succulents and African violets, 
there's an orchid specific food. They require something different than other house plants, so just make sure you pick something up that's specific for orchids. And I use, if I can remember every week, I use, try to remember to use a half strength dose of fertilizer, but if you want to do it on more of like a bi-weekly schedule, you can use a full strength. So half strength every week or full strength every two weeks. And you wanna make sure every once in a while to just water with plain water so that if there's any nutrient buildup or any salt buildup, that you can help flush that out. And that's another reason why repotting is super helpful. You can get some fresh bark around the plant and uh, so there isn't any uh, excess fertilizer in there. So that's it, those are some basic tips. I think that was four or five basic tips for Phalaenopsis orchids. I hope that this inspired you to maybe want to try orchids if you haven't already. They really are easy and they give back so much and for so long. I think it's totally worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.